Normalized Radical is a collection of protest photography from the past 10 years and my involvement within the, the past 10 years of, of movements and social justice. And in the perspective, it's coming from kind of like a street perspective as well as a frontline perspective of activism. 10 years is a good amount of time to do something, to be like, all right, so now what? Just reflect back on it. 10 years of shooting for photography, you're gonna get like a lot of images. So I would say I have like, you know, it's all shot on film, but then there's also some digital. So let's just say hundreds of photos and you cut it down, you know, to like 50 and you continue to keep looking at it and then you trim it down. And right now I think the, the, the exhibit has 23 photos in it. The significance of these selected 23 images is that I feel like this shows kind of like this emotive kind of feeling. Maybe it's like a frustration. It's more, it's darker, subversive. It has more of like an anger tone. But this kind of just summarizes kind of like the thoughts and feelings behind my growth, what I've gained and valued or from, you know, these past 10 years. And really it's just to, it symbolizes kind of like a solidarity with the, with the radicals in the movement. What drew me into protest photography was probably from my photojournalistic background, wanting to be a fly in the wall. I went into there documenting, but also having certain opinions and biases and views as well. Be being a photojournalist and documenting this movement at the same time, appreciating and under understanding and wanting to participate in the movement too. As this, as this project kind of came about, like I wanted to share that, that my, my opinions, my perspective. The image that I value the most because it was such a pinnacle moment in my development and understanding of solidarity was the fuck the police picture. And that one's entitled an unsanctioned event because this was taken in 2012, like early 2012. And this was during the Occupy movement. And th that fuck the police march and FTP march was organized by Occupy San Diego participants, but more of the radical participants, the ones that would be dressed in black block to, uh, to not be identified. There was a faction in Occupy movement that did not endorse that march because of the language. That moment was a missed opportunity to show true solidarity. Unfortunately, this faction of, I would say, more like neoliberalists, they decided to choose the media perception of the group versus really choosing the people to show solidarity with. They were more concerned about how media would perceive a fuck the police march than to really just be standing in solidarity with people that are a part of their movement as well. The title Normalized Radical, it came about kind of organically as I was looking through the photos and recognizing that. And then with the help of the gallery kind of making like, pushing me in that type of, pushing me in that and making me recognize, you know, what I am trying to say and what narrative I am trying to convey. My audience is not like a Trump supporter. My audience is really the, the ones that are considered Democrats or the ones that are like out there still questioning why did they do that? You know, like, don't ask why they did that. You know, you should know the answer by now. And like, to recognize that, like, that's to, to normalize that. The reaction with the show has been really positive. Whether they support the message or not, I feel like art is providing that bridge for people to have these conversations a little bit more openly and with a little bit more calm and understanding because you're being invited into a space that's very beautiful and people are walking into this space like really open-minded even today somebody that's a marine coming into here it's nice to have somebody in the military interact with this work you know and, and see how they receive it he was also out there for black lives matters uh in la mesa and we could relate about getting shot together he got shot as well so those are type of experiences for one to show that's allowed us to do that but but art art in general allows us to to bridge those those gaps a little bit. This show, like all the sales and all the proceeds are going to San Diego Bail Fund. And the reason why I chose that organization is because for one, supporting the bail fund helps all the frontline activists, but two, hopefully raises awareness about how abusive and racist the bail, the bail system is. Bail is just a, 
a system that needs to be demolished as well. And I just encourage everybody to find their own role. It doesn't always have to be like being loud or being in the streets, but there's also many other ways. That